Good morning. I'm Father Mike Sergi, and I am a Redemptorist speaking to you from St. Gerard's Parish in Lima, Ohio. And welcome to our Gospel Reflection for the Feast of All Saints. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us through the prayers of so many intercessors an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, the gospel reading today is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, he began to teach his disciples by saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, today we have the opportunity to celebrate and honor all the saints of God. And what a tremendous day this is, that we get to acknowledge every single saint. We get to acknowledge our own patron saints. Mine is Saint Michael. And so many of you, with your patron saints, you honor this day. And we also honor all those saints that we have become enamored with. All those saints that have all of a sudden become very dear to us. Today is the day when we honor every single saint of God. But what is a saint? What do they look like? Well, for an answer to that, I went over to our school. And I asked some of our students what a saint is. And one class said to me, a saint is someone who dies for Jesus. And I said, you're right. A saint is a martyr, someone who is willing to give up their life for Jesus. And then I went over to the second grade and I asked them, what is a saint? And they all looked at me and said, you are. And I thanked them all but I'm far from a saint at this point in my life. But I said, besides me, what is a saint? And they said to me, a saint is someone who teaches us about Jesus. And I said, you're right. A saint is someone who teaches us the way of Jesus, teaches us by their lives and by their words how to live the life of Jesus. And then I went to one other class and I said, what is a saint? And they said to me, a saint is someone who serves other people, someone who dedicates their whole life to serving people. And one of the students said, just like Mother Teresa of Calcutta, she gave her life to God. And that is correct. Yes, saints are martyrs, those who have given up their life for Jesus. We have saints who are teachers, who teach us the way of God. And we have saints who are true servants of the Lord. But overall, what is one characteristic that every single saint has in our church? What is that one thing that all of them have in common? Well, I think I can explain it by a little story. One day, 
A little boy and his mother were walking down the street, and as they passed Sacred Heart of Jesus Church, the mother decided to go in with her son and say a prayer. And they went in to one of the altars and lit a candle, knelt down, and said the prayer. And the mother wanted to make sure that her son knew what things were in the church because he was getting ready to make his first communion. So she took him over to the side and she said to him, what is that thing there? It looks like a bathtub. What is that? And the little boy said, that's the baptismal font. That is where babies are baptized and that is where we become the friends of Jesus. And she said, yeah, that's right. And then she took him over to the middle of the church and she said, look up, what is that big gold rectangular box sitting there on the back of the altar? And the little boy looked and said, that's the tabernacle. That's where Jesus lives. And we know that he's always home because there's always a red candle burning at his side. That's the tabernacle. And then the mother pointed to the furniture in front of the tabernacle. And she said, what is that? And she, he said, that's the altar. That is the place where the priest stands and says those special words that the bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus. And she was so proud of her son that he knew all those things. Well, later that day when his dad came home from work, his dad answered, what did you do today? And he said, well, mommy and I went for a walk and we went into church and we lit a candle and we said a prayer. And then I saw different things in the church. And his dad said, what? He said, I saw the baptismal font where babies are baptized and become friends of God. I saw the tabernacle where Jesus lives. I saw the altar where the priest stands and says those special words that bread and wine become the body and blood of Jesus. And he said, then I saw all the holy people. And his father thought, well, maybe he saw one of the priests or one of the sisters. And the father answered, well, what priest did you see? He says, I didn't see a priest. He said, well, what sister did you see? He said, I didn't see a sister either. He said, who did you see that you called the holy people? And the little boy said, the holy people are the ones who let the sun shine in. And then the father understood. His son looked at the beautiful stained glass windows where St. John the Baptist was. Mary and Joseph were. St. Matthew was. St. John was and see the sunshine through them. And the little boy knew these are the holy people because they let the sun shine in. My brothers and sisters, I don't know of a better definition of a saint. A saint is someone who lets the sun shine through. They let the glory of God shine through their lives. And what a blessing that is to all of us. I am standing in what we call the Redemptorist Shrine here at St. Gerard. And we have the statues of St. Alphonsus Liguori, our founder, great preacher, writer, musician. We have St. Clement Hopbauer, our second founder, who took us over the Alps and went into Vienna and Austria. We have St. Gerard Magello, who so many of you know, the patron of expectant mothers. We have St. John Newman, the first American male saint. We have Blessed Francis Xavier Silos, who ministered in New Orleans and died during our yellow fever epidemic. And we had Blessed Marie Celeste Costa Rosa, the founder of the Redemptorist Deans. All of our saints here, our blesseds, all of them had special talent. They were founders, they were teachers, they were preachers, they ministered to all different people. But the one thing all of them had in common 
was they let the sun shine through their lives. They let the glory of God shine through their lives to touch the hearts and minds of every person that they met. And they did that so well by living the Beatitudes. Yes, they were poor in spirit. They knew they needed to depend on God. Yes, they were merciful and compassionate. Yes, they were ones who went to help people who were mourning, and especially those who would mourn for the sin that they committed against their loving God. Yes, they were the ones who hunger and thirst for holiness and righteousness. And yes, they were the ones who were persecuted. But through all of this, they let the sun shine through. They let the glory of God shine through their lives. And because of that, we honor them today as saints. My brothers and sisters, today we give thanks to God for all our saints. I thank God for our redemptorist saints and blesseds. I thank God for my patron saint and all the other saints I have become friends with, in a sense. And I thank God for giving us these men and women who are examples to us of what it means to let the glory of God shine through their lives. And if you and I want to become a saint, well, all we have to do is what they did. Live by the Beatitudes. And most of all, to let the sun shine through our lives. Let the glory of God shine through our lives whenever we meet another brother and sister. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, we today give you thanks for the many saints that have been given to us. We ask you now to please, through their intercession, help us come closer and closer to you. And most of all, to let your glory shine through our lives. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Through the intercession of all the saints of God, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. We thank you for joining the Redemptorist online preaching, and we hope that you will once again join us next Sunday when Father John McLaughlin will be preaching. God bless you all.